All right, so hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, my name is Kelechi in Bermana. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing you guys and showing you guys some tips and tricks on how to basically record on your own. I'm gonna be showing you how to use your computer, your laptop as your monitor for your DSLR camera. And this is perfect if you're a one-man production like me and if you don't have any external help or whatsoever. This is all the help you would need. So if you are interested, if you need some help when recording by yourself, then definitely to keep on watching. Alright, so to begin, we're just going to proceed and be showing you the equipment you're going to be needing. You're going to be needing your Canon DSLR camera, a laptop or desktop to act as a monitor, your interface cable to connect your DSLR camera to your laptop or desktop and the installation software. If you don't have this disc, that's fine. All you have to do is just, you know, open your computer. Hey guys, and just go on Google and search for the Canon website. It's going to be searching for the website because I don't know it. So just going to go on to Google and just type the Canon USA. And yeah, that is the website right there. So you want to click on it. And once it has loaded, you want to go over to the search bar at the right top corner and just search for your Canon model. Mine is the Canon T6i. So once you have your search result, you want to click on your Canon model. And then this is mine. You want to go down to the driver and download section and you want to make sure that you're downloading the software that is right for your operating system but this website does a great job at detecting it so i'm just going to go over to the eos utility that is the software you want you want to select and download it now it's going to pop up where you want it to be downloaded just go ahead to download it and then wait for it to download after you've downloaded it install it and yeah i already have mine installed so this is it right here and this is it also right here so it says the eos utility so now that i'm done installing that i'm just going to go ahead to just make sure i have the right settings on my dslr camera i'm going to put it to the recording mode and i'm going to click on the menu button and make sure that my wi-fi function has been disabled you want to make sure to do this if not it would not work the wi-fi disturbs it so i'm just going to go ahead to connect this to my computer using this interface cable i'm going to be using the smaller Pot. I'm going to be connecting it to this AV out digital port right there on my DSLR camera and I'm just going to put it in and you want to make sure that it's snug and it's properly fitted. I'm just going to be connecting the other end to my laptop. So now that it's done, I'm just going to you know switch on my laptop and once you do this, it automatically comes on. All right, so you want to click on the remote shooting and then you also want to click on live view and now you guys can have like manual control over your DSLR camera. It's that easy. This is, yeah, so this is what kind of looks like. I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can see me over here. You can see everything that I'm doing. I could see myself and that's how amazing it is. So yeah. All right, so if you want to start recording, all you have to do is to just hit this red button right here and that will just start all right so what i particularly love about this is that i can just control my eyes to from here i can control my light settings from here and i don't have to move there to kind of like control it i can see what it looks like in real life on my monitor right here and i could just know when i'm in focus i don't know if you guys can see this but i'm definitely in focus because my i'm being tracked and i could just play around with my settings as too dark that's overexposed this is almost okay this just gives you freedom to kind of like play around with the settings and to just see what works i play around with my white balance so yeah i kind of know what's happening i can focus a product and make sure that it's in focus and if it's not in focus i can just manually focus it by clicking on it and yeah that would 
do the trick. I can also choose where I want the files to be stored after recording. So I can click it right here, but obviously I can't do that because I'm already recording. But once you click it right here, it will kind of show where you want the, the folder that you want the files or the clips or the footage that you've recorded to be stored in and once you're done recording you could just hit the stop button right here once you click on the stop button it immediately stops recording and once you close it it actually asks you to download the file if you want to download it so you could go ahead and just download the files directly onto your desktop or your computer wherever you want to store it and yeah you could just you know start editing right away these are the clips these are the videos we just recorded so yeah, this is the end of this tutorial and I tried to be as in-depth as possible and I tried to kind of focus on each thing just to help you if you are beginning out with this because it was, it was quite difficult to figure out everything myself and I hope this was helpful to you if you're still trying to figure it out yourself as well. I am done. I don't want to stop blabbing. I'll definitely see you in my next video. So yeah, so definitely stick around with me because I'm still going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks that I've learned during my two years of trial and error and trying to improve myself in this field. So yeah, if you guys are interested, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to me, stick around with me and I will be more than happy. Interact with me, engage with me, comment down below, let me know what your problems are and maybe I would make a video on how to solve that problem if I can solve it. So yeah, I'll definitely see you in my next video. Do not go anywhere, subscribe to my channel, stick around with me and let's have fun. Comment down below, share, like and I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay fab, stay blessed, stay amazing. Bye guys. <laughs>